Good afternoon folks, Joy Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we're touring the Krupp Industries front kitchen out of the Island Series. This has actually been a very popular house for us because it's not the typical floor plan that you would see most builders doing. Most builders will put the kitchen in the center, living room up front, bedroom and bathroom in the back. So this one is actually a front kitchen model and what it does, it really opens that area up. Tons of countertop space, leaves it very open inside. We'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna show you a few features here on the outside that come standard with all of the Island Series park models. So it does come with a ducted propane forced air furnace, but we also have air conditioning prep so you can have a central air conditioner installed on site. That is the return air there. It does also have the aluminum underbelly, like I mentioned before, to help rodent, rodent proof, uh, you know, mice and uh, raccoons and stuff like that. Uh, they cannot chew through that and get into the insulation, the wiring and all that good stuff. So that is a standard feature on all of the Island Series park models. Another cool thing is we do the secondary eave line so you can attach an awning or a secondary structure to your house. Um, that is all a standard feature. We also do all the transom windows up above. It makes it nice and open. It really breaks up the roof line too. I like how it breaks it up here in the front. You got the eyebrow eave, secondary eave line. Got the bayed window on the driver's side or the passenger side on this one. We also do the drop floor in the bedroom. And that is going to help you get an extra 12 inches of ceiling clearance up in the loft. So we're right about 55 and a half inches of ceiling clearance. Let's go ahead and take a look inside on the Island Series front kitchen. First thing you're going to see here, this is the living room space. Uh, the one we had at the Coeur d'Alene State Fair actually had a sectional sofa right here, which fit really nice there. But this is kind of nice too. You got the sleeper sofa. You've got a recliner, you can move this over to the side a little bit more so you can recline and, and rock in the chair. Standing all the way back here, look how big this living room space is. We also did the white ship lap on the entertainment center and on the accent wall here. They come standard with the TV, the, uh, the fireplace, we've got the sound bar, the Blu-ray player, all come standard in here. This is the front kitchen, and this really opens it up. Tons of countertop space. We got the table with four chairs. We can do a rolling island. Some people will even get a leaf table, you know, in a couple chairs, fold it down, set it aside, get more floor space. The rolling island, you can bring it over here into the kitchen with more countertop space uh, to prepare food and stuff like that. We got the farm sink. This is the slate farm sink. It's got the apron up front. Got the uh, pull-down faucet. Got the propane for cooking and heating. And you also got the microwave up above. This is a full-size 30-inch range. This isn't like an apartment size. This is a full-size. Everything in here is full-size appliances. Got the ceramic tile backsplash. And you've also got a big pantry over here on the side right here overhead cabinets. I like how they trimmed everything in the in the cabinet color. It really pops off the wall, breaks things up, looks very nice in here. Something else about the front kitchen that I like that they do, normally when you have a front kitchen up here you've got cabinetry that's going to take away from the windows here, but you have actual ample ample windows up here for good views. This is just my lot here, but imagine this on a lake or a river or something. Um, and it doesn't sacrifice all the cabinetry. You've got tons of cabinets in here. All right, next we're gonna come down in the hallway. This is a lofted model. You can see up there, this is uh, a split loft, which we'll take a look at here in a second. Got the basin overhead cabinet here in the hallway. Bathroom has got tons of storage as well. I mean, the whole wall is full of cabinets. You got the mirrored medicine cabinet doors. Got the doors on the side, bank of drawers. You know, it's cool out of the Island Series too. If you didn't want to do Formica, you could do like a Corian counter upgrade, um, change whatever color you want, the walls, the counters, the floors, just really make it what you want. This is a tub shower combo. I've had a lot of comments from people, you know, why don't you put tubs in? Um, Honestly, a lot of people like to be able to walk in and out of a shower without stepping over into it. That's why most of the time we have our stock units with walk-in showers. 
but this is a tub shower combo right here so it can be done here in the hallway massive pantry or not pantry a coat closet you can put your brooms your um you know long coats just a big cabinet to store stuff washer dryer space is needed in most households so we've got the prep in here now when i was just talking to a customer you know if you didn't want to put the washer dryer in right away we could at least prep for it and i'll put adjustable shelving here in this closet that way it's ready to go for it and it helps with resale value and stuff too which is definitely something you guys want to think about uh, when purchasing a park model is uh, you know getting that resale value coming up the stairs this is a split loft so you go left you got your own separate area here you can fit a twin twin size mattress put a tv up in there you got a ton of uh, storage space up here it also has its own supplemental air conditioner and what's nice is all these windows open so you get a good cross breeze through here a lot of people think it'll be really hot but the way we've designed it you got a good cross breeze you got an ac you're not going to worry about getting hot up here so this is the secondary loft space so you can fit another twin size mattress up here if you wanted to tons of storage space um, having the loft is just a huge benefit especially since it doesn't take away of your lower 400 square feet and now we go into the master bedroom queen, queen size mattress got the cabinets over the bed the nightstands we've got a cabinet here for the uh, electrical panel and then we've also got storage underneath the staircase here so that's what that leads to all of our houses have egress coming out of the bedroom um, so you don't have to have a second door that's where the washer dryer goes you have egress out of the bedroom so you can always escape got the his and her closets bank of drawers in the center we even did a little shelf on top here so you can put you know if you had a dvd player or something like that or just something you wanted to display up here uh, you can take that out if you wanted to but yeah you got enough room for a tv and all your storage the bed actually lifts up too so you can store stuff in there every square inch of these houses are thought of for storage and usability very pleased with the krupp industry um, park models anyways if you have any questions about this model or any other models we have to offer feel free to give us a call 888-222-2699